We are a submarine tank! Secret submarine tank technology has been discovered. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ravenfield. So we've got a bunch of new weapons and vehicles to show off today. I've got a bow and arrow, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's also one that apparently has dynamite on the tip, but first... Cue! <laughs> Hello, buddy! Oh, are we... Where, where's... Where's my arrows? All right, so you have to knock it. There's definitely some wonkiness going on with this bow and arrow, but the bow and arrows are made by Atherline 5. So I want to show you these new vehicles. There's, it's uh, an armored personnel carrier from the game Foxhole. And they were, well, they were inspired from there. And they're made by Lizard Script, right? On the Steam Workshop. Oh, we've got an incoming. A Ravenfield Red Attack Plane. But the cool thing about them is they're actually based off of my favorite vehicles from World War II, the LVTA-2, which stands for Landing Vehicle Tracked Armored, and then, I guess, Variant 2. Now, we're going to be able to see some here. Do we have any incoming? Because I really can't defend myself too well. Oh my gosh, these things are going to be cool. So I've sent my guys to go capture the other two flags. Oh my god. Are we not able to do that? Are we not able to capture right now? Maybe because the ribs. Oh gosh. Wait a minute. I've got to check the map here. I think it's because our boats aren't working very well. Oh no. So we're at a severe, uh, a serious disadvantage, I think, because... Oh, wait, what's that? We're taking some shots. Dude, if they come over that mountain right now, this is not going to work well. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, so the second shot just auto-fires. Well, now it doesn't. That's weird. Now, I really, really have to hold this, but here the LVTs are. Oh shoot, incoming Huey. Oh, I had to take it out, man. We've taken the flag. I've got reinforcements. We just took down the enemy Huey. Now, are there any survivors in the water? There was one. All right. Now, I'm going to I'm going to take this here. I'm going to get a squad. Let's get in the APC. So, this is the LVT. Now, they're supposed to be amphibious. Now, we got to get working tracks for this thing. Can you guys get in this? What? Why are you able to walk through it? There's no MGs on it. So, if this thing's not amphibious, then it's not nearly as effective as it could, and it should be, I believe. Now, that actually brings up a great question. Look, there's an enemy amphibious vehicle over there, so we gotta turn around, and we gotta engage them. So, we're gonna do a little bit of a burp, burp, burp turn, but I, I, I cannot wait to try out these dynamite tipped arrows. All right, Red is kicking our butt with four capture points. I feel like we should not have gone with the Higgins boats. Because it doesn't seem... Well, there we go. There's actually some reinforcements right here. Here's the enemy one. Come on, boys. Take it out. Now, people do not have... Oh, my God. It was like... It was like twerking. We we have a guy on our boat that is... Uh, our boat. That is firing a bow and arrow at them. Whoa, that's dynamite. He's using dynamite. Well, everybody is pretty much off this. Let's see. All right. I'll take care of this. After I reload it, of course. Womp womp. Alright, boys. I need everybody standing by. I wonder how armored this thing is. We, we don't have too many. Look at that thing. Look at that thing from the front. Oh, what? Who did that? We got dynamite. Alright, I'm gonna spawn here. Now, I'm actually gonna check out, like, the, check this out. So, here's the bows. You've got the bow and dynamite tipped arrow. The, and then there's some compound bows. And then there's the bow and arrow. Let's actually check the bow and arrow first. Just see if it's easier to use than the compound bow. I hope it would. I hope it's a different... It's kind of... A, it's a very similar fire function. Look at this guy. Whoa, I didn't even mean to shoot at you, buddy. Pew! Dude, it, hitting anybody in this is going to be a challenge. All right. We got to get a squad. We're going to take the... They're, they're also called water buffaloes, by the way, which are so cool. Who's that? Oh, this guy's still here, isn't he? Alright. Everybody on board. Let's see, how many can we- how many can we take? I think it's six. 
And we only have four following us, so I'm gonna have to get more reinforcements. All right, I've got seven. And unfortunately, most of them are firing bows and arrows at this Huey. <laughs> Come on, boys, all aboard. This is the last one. That guy looks like he's bandaging up right now. All right, let's do this. Oh, incoming. Oh, my God. He just took out one of our guys. Oh, my God. Who? Who is... Are they taking out themselves? I think they might. All right, we're going to push this and see just how sturdy they are. Now, the cool thing about these things is in real life, there were different ones, right? So the, the, the main concept, the main advantage of these things is that they could operate both in the water and on land. So they would be dropped off by ships. Yeah, get wrecked, idiots. And then you, they would get on the beach and then they would storm the beach and take out the static defenses and it would be good times all around, right? Oh, wow, that, that guy's firing a missile at us. We gotta charge that position, though. Someone take out that MG. Take out the heavy machine gun. Take out the static defenses. Oh, my God. Oh, those guys were twerking. We've only got one guy left. People are dropping dynamite on us. Because, oh, that's why. I'm the last guy. I'm the last of the Mohicans. I will take this flag point if it's the last thing I do. Come on. Whoa, what is that? What's with the electrical storm over there? That's that's really freaky. All right, now we gotta run them over because they're not letting me take this flag out. Uh oh, this isn't gonna work. That's not gonna work. All right, so now what we're gonna do is switch over to there it is, the bow and dynamite tipped arrow. Oh, we've got an incoming too. Another uh, water buffalo is invading. I love these things so much, but there were ones where. There it is. Oh! <laughs> I thought they were gonna explode on impact. Where's my dynamite? Red team's victorious. They kicked our butt. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> I wanted them to be exploding on impact so that I could take out helicopters would be my goal. And I think the collision model uh, needs to be worked on for this model. Because it's definitely wonky, man. How, how sturdy are these things? You know what? We're gonna have to go back to the old tried and true. Oh, that guy got worked. Alright, so now we're gonna do a little test. Enemy helicopter! Oh, missed shot. Reload, reload, reload. Luckily, they don't have anyone in the gunner. On the, uh... Here we go. Enemy Huey going down. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is the water test, boys. We gotta see if this thing is amphibious. Because if it's not then it isn't operating as intended. And I think that, I wonder if that's, yeah, this is, wait, wait, wait. Here we go, we're about to exit the shallow water and, oh. Wait, what? We are a submarine tank. Secret submarine tank technology has been discovered. Now all this thing needs is a periscope. And torpedoes on the side, oh my gosh. So basically amphibious tractors were a big, big thing in World War II. The Japanese had one, or at least a concept, where they, they had torpedoes on the side. And the idea would be that they would be dropped off by Japanese submarines in the harbors of, like, uh, American warships. And then they would sneak their way in and fire torpedoes in the shallow waters at ships at harbor, like, at ships docked off. So that's kind of cool. All right, so it's not truly amphibious. It's actually a submarine in this. But we should be hovering on the top of the water. And I want ones with, like, 50 cal machine guns. Look at that. The, the, the AI is definitely better at just wrecking themselves and using them as intended. Oh, man. I thought we were going to have a convoy of these things. I would really love to see AI get better to the point where, like, these battles were truly, truly dynamic. Instead of just, like, kind of tug-of-war affairs, you know what I mean? Like, red versus blue and whoever pushes this point and gets there and all that stuff. Like, I really want to see that. What's up, boys? Oh, man. I think we actually took friendly fire from that boat. Because we're running amongst these infantry. So, yeah, the Higgins boats were not good enough. See, and that, I think, is an AI thing as well. What is this guy doing? Was that a dart? You got a dart in your neck. Oh, he's got, like, Tesla grenades. Oh, man, they're, throwing, they're chucking dynamite. Let's see how... Whoa. We're very... We're very, very armored against 
dynamite, which seems like it's acting as a grenade. Now, if these guys just keep coming in, since I don't have any MGs on this thing, there's really... Oh, I tried to use my bow and arrow. Okay. All right, so we've got a special forces helicopter. Oh my god, look at this thing. It's got... Oh, it's only got two MGs sitting on the side of it. Look at this glorious thing. So this apparently has eight seats, and here you can find... You can see my operators walking up right here. Come on, boys. Everybody load up into this. Oh, yeah. So, I guess... No, wait. Hold on. We've got a co-pilot. We've got an MG. We've got another MG. And then two guys in the back? Hmm. All right. Now, what are our weapons? Oh, and look at the other one. See, I really, really wish I could fly in formation with friends. Like, I wish I could get them to follow me. I wish the AI was better. Now, we're going for that point over there because that's one we need to take. And I've told my people via commands to take that capture point and that capture point because I am putting it on my shoulders here to capture this one. So as long as we don't get taken down by incoming aircraft, this is an amazing secret mission. Special forces. Oh my god, look at that rib boat. He's going in hard. All right, well, we'll fly air support then while he captures. We're taking... Wait, actually, I'm going to pivot in. Oh, that rib just went airborne and <laughs> crashed into... The look at these guys. Oh, my gosh. What is up with the physics for them? All right, all right. Chill, chill, helicopter. Chill, chill. Oh, incoming. That might be an incoming one. Okay, so let's see. Is our flag being raised? Yes, it is. All right, we've captured that. Now we're gonna go on air superiority mission. You know I love me some helicopters. Hold on. We've gotta take this guy out. We've got some... Oh! Look at that! Oh, our auto cannon just took him out. I feel like someone fell out of the plane. Whoa! 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 Was that a friendly that took us out? Are you kidding me? We're all doomed because of you. All right, uh, I want to swim. Okay, there we go. We got taken out. Man, I don't know what took us out, man. All I know is devastating. All right, let's gather up a force. All right, follow me, boys. And I still think I need better orders. See, because I can do the go-to, but I want them to follow me. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> if I can land a grenade in it. Oh! That one almost landed in it! They take it. Oh, wait, hold on. We got another special forces. We got to take this special. This, uh, special forces helicopter. Holding. Come with me if you want to live, boys. We're gonna go on a secret mission here. We're gonna take this MI 8. So the MI 8 special forces is made by Hejong Park. Everybody on board. Look at this, man. See, there needs to be... You need to be able to also mess with what you want spawned on the carrier and where. Like, I, I wish I could just put all... No, 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 no. Get in the... Get in it. Get in it. All right, boys, get inside. Special Forces Operator. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't take everybody, even if there's enough seats. There's just some limitations to Ravenfield that I'm, that I'm beginning to notice. You know, and I wish, <laughs> the more I play it, the more I wish those limitations were not there. So let's check the map. We've got that spot taken. I really want everybody to converge on this point. So let's do some air superiority here. Do we have rockets? We do have rockets. All right, we did, a, we did one pass with the rockets. Stabilize. Oh, what was that? I was just shot out of it straight up. Unbelievable. All right, let's spawn over here. I'm going to use this dynamite tipped arrow. They're not as awesome. I want them to, to blow up on impact. They, they do make sense, though, but now I want explosive tipped arrows. Wait, hold on. Oh, look. This is the light tank. All right, so this this uh, this uh, light tank here was made by Mr. Lizard Script, the same guy who made the LVTs. What's up, idiot? Hey, don't shoot me. Don't even look at me. How many of these do I need to fire? Oh! Reds are coming, boys! 
Wait, am I like in quicksand or something? Oh my god, dude, that... Look at that. That is a really cool looking tank. Now, it's a fantasy tank. I'm not sure where it comes from. How have we not destroyed this thing? Here we go. Yeah, they, these things definitely need some work. That is for sure. All right, let's do this the easy way. Hello, friends. Don't you wish there was like penetration to where like these th these things would actually, depending on the armor and the thickness of it. There we go. We finally taken them out. All right, I actually want to use one of those, but I think there's only one spot on the map to get them. Oh god, that's bad. All right, so we're gonna see if we can't do this. Oh, by the way, so. Imagine if helicopters could carry these things, right? Oh, this is bad. We're already at what, like 35% health on this thing? Oh! Whoa! What? What did we just... What is it? I am one with the bridge! Hold on. Oh my god, that's a bad shot. There we go, there's one out. I need explosive tips or this is never gonna work. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Come on, gentlemen, do you want to live forever? Let's get out of here. Oh god, this is bad. The turning radius is not good. Alright, we're gonna try to get over this- Whoa! 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 <laughs> we flipped it again! Alright, you know what? Here's another one. Third time's the charm. We gotta go steal ourselves a tank. Secret mission, boom, right in your face, mate. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I love this thing. Now, do we wanna use the helicopter that's for some odd reason over there? Nope. We're just gonna rush in. There's the tank. All right, we probably can't take it. Oh! That thing just shot us off the bridge, man. This is bad news bears. Bad news bears. Confirmed, Baron. We are having a problem. If you see what I see, the objective is here. We are now Navy SEAL. We are amphibious. So swimming definitely needs to be worked out for things other than boats. We need amphibious vehicles. All right, let's get some health. Let's make sure this thing, which is our only really good gun, because these bow and arrows are not hot. Hotty toddy. Is that blue? That is blue. I'd rather be dead than red, boys. Blue all the way. We are over the enemy airfield, I repeat. Pew, pew, pew. We just gotta avoid flak fire? Oh my god, something is just whittling us down. All right, I really, really want that tank, guys. But I think since the enemy has it and probably we haven't knocked it out, I'm unable to get it. I think what we should do then so we might have to- oh, there he is. Here we go. Here he is. Yeah, we took him out, all right. Oh, wow, we are at no- Did you- did you- did you uh, Of course you saw it. All right, we've got one special forces operator here with us. Now, would he be a Navy SEAL? Oh! Is there something with the, with the physics where, whoo, boom, that guy just pulled out his knife and tried to get that guy. That's awesome. All right, we're still at good health. He's using his auto pistol here. Oh my God, he's gone. So am I. I don't know what happened, but it's over. The dream is dead. Let's try it again. Wait, he's still alive. What a boss. He survived. We didn't. All right, let's try it one more time. We got another guy. With uh, that SMG that reminds me of GoldenEye 007 from the Nintendo 64. Woo! What's up, buddy? Oh, man, we just chomped his face. See, I want to ride... I want the tactics to be so good that I can have other guys on ATVs. You know, or just vehicles working in unison. Man, like, Ravenfield could be so much more. And I wonder... I wonder what's still... Oh, there's the tank. That's the thing we keep trying to take over. There we go. Oh, my buddy just got pooped off the back of it. I don't know, guys. It may not be possible. I've got my G43 here. And I know the enemy is coming, so let's, uh... Let's get you, big dog. We gotta take a defensive position on the bridge. 
I wonder if you could make it like an RTS battle simulator first person shooter game. All right, defend the bridge. Enemy tank is incoming. Pew! Oh. Don't hit my ATV. Don't look at me. Oh! <gasps> what? All right, let's try somewhere else. This is, we're just having bad luck. Any vehicles? Are there any vehicles? We need them. Hold on. Friendly? That's friendly. I thought for sure there were vehicles over here. There are not, so we're gonna go run infantry. So anyway, guys, another episode of Ravenfield. I love- oh my god, there you go. It wouldn't be Ravenfield without a little bit of friendly fire. Similar to Tabs. I still don't know what's happening with Tabs. And I'm still waiting. There- there hasn't even been any updates. I think Landfall's got another secret project they're working on. While they're working on Tabs, but... You know, I- it would- it would be very nice to be kept in the loop. What's up, buddy? Let's shoot out the bridge. Hey. There we go. Let's rush it. We're gonna use this ATV as cover. We got friends here. Oh, man. Look at that. Pew! Pew! Enemy helicopter sighted. Oh, he's firing rockets! I think I totally missed with mine. I can't tell. Oh, I'm actually still alive. Hold on. Reload, 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 reload. He's firing his rockets. We're at 10 health. Oh, he's, is he going down? He's not going down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we definitely want to be over here to take out that helicopter. Because he's just doing damage. You can see these MI8 special forces. Here he is. Come on, boys. Take him out. This one is very well armored. Yeah. All right. We've taken him out. Well, guys. We fired dynamite arrows. They're not explosive on impact, so they weren't nearly as effective. Oh my god, look at that. Who... It makes you wonder, what is his story? Where did you go, Mr. Driver of the mysterious ATV that went into space? But... Gosh, the, yeah, the, the dynamite, we need explosive tip arrows. And I think better mechanics for arrows. But it's amazing to see what the mod creators do. I think Ravenfield just needs to open up and even allow more, you know, more things to ha be possible. What? That should have been hits. Anyway, guys, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching another episode. And I hope you're not like this guy this weekend. Because he's having a bad time. Ha! Fourth time's the charm. Sorry, buddies. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, guys. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next episode of Ravenfield, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.